In the history of science, you, know, you see a movement away from uh, mythological interpretations, sort of faith-based interpretations of phenomena. The experimental method, of course, uh, created a, a whole new way of describing and looking at the world. And uh, as, as scientists have moved on the cutting edge of that conceptual change, uh, people, human beings, have begun to take up the notions of experimental method, rational thought, uh, the conflict between religion and science is all about this uptake of uh, uh, theoretical notions of deterministic science, the rational notions of science, axioms, uh, these sorts of things. Are, are we reaching a point now where we're about to cross a cusp where, in fact, the, some of these notions about probability, where uh, our deterministic scientific classical approach is actually giving way to a much more complicated, intuitive, but scientifically based understanding of probability, and that that's a whole new world that's opening up right at this moment in, in history. Would you say that's the case? Yes, oh, absolutely. The self-driving car shows it. You could not have a self-driving car if it thought the world was deterministic. You know, with, with uh, Newton's laws describe how everything moves in the world, right? But there's too much going on. So you can't use Newton's laws to figure out what to do next, where to go. You have to look at the aggregate of the way things are moving and figure out what the most likely way is. And so what's happening is the deterministic laws are real, and they work providing that you've got deterministic evidence to put in the equations. But in the real world, things are random to a certain level. There's noise in the system. And so the possibility of what's, you know, what's going to happen next now has to be modeled in a probabilistic way. And I do think that uh, people are beginning to think that way. And it affects our identity in terms of how we think of ourselves medically. Absolutely. You know, classically, you've been a patient in front of a doctor, and there's that one-on-one -on -one person. We know that clinical trials and epidemiology expanded the numbers that gave us data. We're a few years behind the Googles and the other data gatherers of the world. But medicine's definitely moving into the big data era, and genomics in particular needing millions of people. The president's uh, Precision Medicine Initiative is launching a database of a million people, which is huge for us to do, get all those genomes together and be able to sort out the prior probabilities and make some sense of this to better people's health. And be yeah. reassured by randomness. That's the lesson from your work, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we all try to control our lives. We try and make the best decisions, uh, conscious decisions, based on how we want things to turn out. We have plans, but uh, a lot of times we tend to um, undervalue or underestimate the, the role of luck uh, played in, in, will play in our, in our future or has played in our past. So we, we think that whenever we have a success that it's, you know, we pat ourselves on the back or maybe we get arrogant. And when we have a failure, we blame ourselves or get depressed about it. But uh, in, in truth, uh, there's a lot more uh, uh, that, of luck and randomness that feeds into everything that happens to us, and, and we should just realize that, be humble, and maybe chill a little. <laughs> you work hard, and that basically your way, to, your way to beat the odds is to work hard, not uh, accept rejection. Right, and, and, exactly. And that's, that, that's, a, that's, an, a, a, that, that's a bit of mathematics as well as psychology. So it was, I think, uh, 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 Watson, the, uh, the computer pioneer, who, who said, um, uh, if, if, you want to, uh, if you want to succeed, have a lot of failures. Uh, that's because uh, it, it's all a game of chance, a game of problems. So it's all about getting at bats and trying to hit, get that hit.